Growing up, my dad had three deployments to Iraq. Each deployment ranged about a year to a year and a half. We pray every night, we like, please watch over our dad. I would say the pride I feel for my dad is that he is my hero. <laughs> He's that traditional male character that every family needs. I just couldn't fathom what my life would be like without him. To really survive a good career in the military, you gotta have a strong wife. She helped me get through those, those tough times because there were some pretty tough times. I think the toughest thing for my dad was when he lost his best friend. He has a bracelet that he wears every day. It has his name on it, the person that he lost. This is his name, Corporal Brent Coleman. I wear it every single day of my life. I'll never stop wearing it. The day I lost him, was just... He needed to process what happened. He needed that time to grieve the loss of his friend, his brother. So while I was deployed, I kept wondering why I was getting so tired. I started getting these unexplained bruises in my legs. When I came back from my third deployment from Iraq, I was diagnosed with leukemia. Devastating, completely devastating. He just survived three deployments. I get him home and now he's gonna die. What the heck? Oh man, the first time that we saw him in the hospital after he was having um, chemotherapy, he just looked so fragile and so innocent. It just, it was so hard. Jason was diagnosed with a disease called chronic myeloid leukemia, and his disease was starting to accelerate. So the man that I've always known to be so strong and healthy is not anymore. I talked to God a lot and just said, if this is it, like you need to take him home because I just got to stand to watch him suffer. I just had to tell myself, you have to let him go to God. They did all the tests and they said, yeah, but you're probably gonna have to get a stem cell transplant. It's your last, that's really your last hope. It really shone through from me the strength that he gained from his time in Iraq and that strength that he was able to draw on as he went through everything. In the military, you're, you're taught, you see the mission through to the end. You can just see, you know, the touch of the bracelet. He gave his life for us. He would expect us to live it for our fullest to make the most of it. The first time the girls got to see him after transplant, that was an amazing day. The girls were crying, can I touch dad? <laughs> can I just hug him, mom? Yeah, get over there and hug him. It was like God was telling me, it's okay. You're fine, he's fine, it's, everything's gonna be okay. I think it was last year, Dr. Jonathan Gutman, he said, I think I can comfortably say that you're cured. Every year we have two birthdays because the day that he had his transplant, he got to start his life over. My parents made me who I am today. My mom taught me how to be kind, and my dad taught me how to be brave. I feel lucky every single day, you know. Whatever it is that you value in life, surround yourself with that.